2016. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to Cadex TV. Summer will arrive uh, some point later today, I think at about 6.30 p.m., I understand, finally. And in the U.K., the implied probability of a British vote to remain in the European Union in the referendum scheduled for Thursday has now soared up to 78%, according to uh, professional British bookmakers. This is up from about 65% on Friday. Uh, car makers and football chiefs have thrown their weight behind the campaign for England to stay in the European Union, as opinion polls today begin to show that the Remain camp is gaining ground. Um, a senior politician also announced she was defecting to the Remain group, accusing those campaigning to leave the EU of spreading lies, hate, and xenophobia. Both sides began uh, campaigning again yesterday after a three-day suspension to honor uh, the pro-Remain lawmaker, Josephine Cox, who was killed in the street by a man heard shouting, Britain first, keep Britain independent. Opinion polls last week had suggested that the Leave campaign had made headway in the debate that has polarized Britain, but polling over the weekend, some carrying out after Mrs. Cox's murder, suggested that the in-camp had recovered momentum. Sterling rose 2% against the dollar today. One person who weighed in as well was the president and CEO of Aon, Greg Case. He announced uh, today that the UK would be taking an unnecessary risk if it voted to leave the EU. He said, quote, in our world, risk is inevitable and we manage it accordingly, but leaving the EU is an unnecessary gamble. He said that a British exit from the EU would discourage the flow of talented professionals from Europe into London and tell global experts that the UK valued its sovereignty more than its expertise. He said that the world was more interconnected than ever and even individual transactions were globalized, so going in the other direction would be a difficult case to make. Investigators in Cairo now are uh, subjecting the flight recorders from the crashed Egypt airplane of last month to tests and repairs. This is before analysis can begin. Some sources are indicating that the repairs are expected to be completed today. Other sources are saying it's going to take lots of time to repair the recorders. Um, in any event, uh, the work is being carried out at the Egyptian Civil Aviation Ministry's laboratories in Cairo. According to J.P. Morgan, multiple large catastrophe events during the second quarter of 2016 will likely cause an insurance industry impact of over $13 billion, with global insurers expected to pick up about $6.7 billion of those losses. Analysts said that the Fort McMurray wildfire event, believed to be the costliest single insured loss event in Canada's history, uh, could come in with losses just about $6.9 billion. It also said that the April Japanese earthquake in Kumamoto um, is going to hit about $3 billion. Uh, Texas has also experienced a series of damaging and costly hail events, with industry losses uh, hitting about $3 billion. And then, of course, the flooding in France and Germany and the storms in parts of Australia are also going to add to the tally. Unfortunately, none of these events are going to prove to be a uh, premium price buster to allow reinsurers to begin to increase premiums, just more claims outflows. Uh, the local government association in Britain, which represents 48 fire and rescue authorities in England and Wales, says that millions of lives are at risk due to faulty tumble dryers, which cause, believe it or not, three fires a day. Appliance companies that choose to repair the faulty machines rather than recall them are needlessly endangering the lives of millions of customers, says the local government authority. The uh, machines are made by Whirlpool and uh, a number of their subsidiaries, Indesit, Hotpoint, and Creta. Uh, the local government authority is petitioning that Whirlpool actually recall all the machines. The European Central Bank has turned government bonds into one of the riskiest asset classes. This is according to the Swiss Re Chief Investment Officer, Guido Ferrer. He says, if you're looking for a bubble, here you go. With government bonds, you're not adequately compensated for the risk you're taking. Swiss Re oversees $140 billion in assets. It's uh, repositioned its allocation into corporate bonds now, up to 33% of its total investments 
up from 20% by the end of uh, 2012. So in just three years, they moved 13% of $140 billion into corporate bonds, which is a significant move. The reason for all this, of course, is the negative interest rates uh, that have been seen last week in Germany and in Switzerland, as well as several other countries, as the uh, price of government bonds has dropped significantly. Bill Gross, the manager of uh, the $1.4 billion Janus Global Fund, as well as one of the founders of PIMCO, said that central banks in Europe have created a, quote, a supernova that will explode one day. And it, uh, he described the German bond state as, one, as the short of a lifetime. So in other words, invest in them, betting that the prices are going to go down. In the United States, the southwestern part of the country is scorched. Some 30 million Americans there are uh, facing temperatures that could reach 121 degrees today. The record-breaking heat wave is being blamed for four deaths. Yesterday it was 115 degrees in Tucson, 118 degrees in Phoenix, and even a United Airlines flight from Houston to Phoenix was waved off and diverted back to Houston because it couldn't land in Phoenix because of heat-related concerns. And finally, the National Basketball Association season is over, a season which begins in uh, training camp times in late October when kids are finally settled into school and the weather is crisp and autumn is really just beginning to get into swing and then goes through the frigid cold of the winter, ends when the temperature is 95 degrees uh, the day before the very first day of summer. Last night, the Cleveland Cavaliers defeated the San Francisco Warriors. Uh, to uh, bring a championship to Cleveland for the first time in over 50 years. That's the news for today. We have any breaking news. Welcome back to tell you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.